With the pandemic ceiling two years of my undergrad, this is actually the first time since 2020 I've had in-person classes or set foot in a lecture theatre. So come along for my first week of uni classes as a criminal psychology and forensic student where I go from learning to dust fingerprints and swab blood samples to being covered in my own blood. Yeah, let's just say this week did not turn out how I imagined. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today's vlog is going to be my first week of actual classes. I've just had my first set of classes, I've literally just got back. In this vlog I am going to be taking you along for the next few days of uni classes and showing you the best I can what I get up to. At the moment it is a little hard because one of my modules is forensic investigation and we actually get to inspect crime scenes which sounds really cool but unfortunately I can't take my phone in the lab so we're going to have to try and figure that out but yeah I'm really excited for this week. I haven't got loads on because I am a master's student and a lot of it is going to be like pre-reading and just me in my room but we're going to have a blast. So if you are looking forward to today's week in my life make sure to go smash that like button right now it really really helps my channel and if you're new here I'd love if you click that subscribe button as well and join the family. But yeah it's currently 12 o'clock or at least actually no it's quarter to one. Oh my god where's the time gone? I am so tired though. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and 9am on a Monday is isn't the greatest for the soul. But yeah, since I have four hours off, I'm gonna go have some lunch. I did grab a Greg's, which I told myself I wouldn't do this year. I told myself I'd be really sensible when it came to eating out and takeaways, but uh, it's kind of hard when there's so many Greg's near you at uni. Literally the sausage roll was calling my name. So I'm probably gonna go eat that and then get on with some work. I'm also kind of low-key tempted to have a nap, but we'll see. I also do need to go grab the bus in a few hours back to campus. Oh my god, speaking of the bus this morning, I was having like a proper mare. I set off on time. You know, I finally cracked the uni buses, or so I thought. It basically arrived completely like packed. Me and a few others tried to get on, but because it was packed, the bus driver decided to kick me and only me off the bus. So that was a bit awkward. Uni buses in Portsmouth are free, which I know sounds amazing. But unfortunately, not all of the buses in Portsmouth are free, only the uni ones. So the next bus I had to catch was unfortunately not a uni bus. And do you wanna guess how much I paid for a single? I'll give you a guess. Three pound. <laughs> Yeah, three pound for literally five minutes. Like it just felt like daylight robbery. As a broke student, you know, and I just was like, oh God, that's been my morning. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go eat my Greggs before it gets cold and then probably crack on with some work and maybe nap, we'll see. believe it's quarter past seven and I've literally just got back in from uni. <laughs> we love that. My seminar actually finished at six but for some reason the bus doesn't run between I think six and seven so I literally had to wait an hour at the bus stop which wasn't ideal but we're finally home. Also you know how I got kicked off the bus earlier because it was too packed? Well as I was walking to go get the bus to my seminar a few hours ago, Gassy was driving the bus that picked me up. The driver that kicked me off earlier Honestly, you couldn't predict it. I feel like sometimes I'm living in a sitcom. It was so awkward. I think he recognized me and he gave me such like a weird look and I was just like, 
<laughs> Guess this one isn't packed, you can't chuck me off this time. Honestly, for like the whole of today, the universe has been against me. Like I forgot to tell you earlier, but when I went and grabbed a Greg sausage roll, I originally actually wanted to grab the sausage cheese and bean melt that they do. But it's just, mm, you know, chef kiss. It didn't like appear as though they stocked it. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll get a sausage roll then. And honestly, no joke, I couldn't make this up. As soon as I paid, they came out of a fresh tray of sausage cheese and bean melts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Like, <laughs> honestly, when I saw it, I just wanted to die inside. I was like, Ugh. I don't know if it's like mercury retrograde or whatever, but <sighs> I just feel like the universe has been against me today. But despite that, I've actually had a really good first day. It was so cool. You know, in Netflix documentaries where they bagging up the evidence, swabbing blood, taking fingerprints. Well, that was literally what I did for two hours a day. Turns out out of the five samples that I did today, by the way, they're not my own samples. It's not my blood. <laughs> we had like kind of station set up where we went around and like swabbed different things. Out of the five little evidence sample things I did today, we actually got to keep, I think like three of them. I'll just go grab them. Out of today's session, we had to do a blood swab, fingerprints, footwear, prints, tool marks, and then package like an item of clothing. Okay, so these are my samples. And as you can see, they're like in actual evidence bags. Like I can't believe it's sick, but this is my first ever footwear print that I've done. They teach you how to recover it with like the powder and then you've got to like stick it onto like a sheet of acetate and make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm pretty happy with like my first attempt. And then we have to like fill out, oh shit. We have to fill out all of the information on the back. This is literally what it would look like if it went into evidence. Next, I've got my tool mark. So we have to do like a little, I can't remember what the chemicals are, but it basically, if you mix them together, they turn into a paste that you can paint across the tool mark of your crime scene. And then it makes like a mold, which you can kind of see in there, it's like blue. So yeah, and again, I had to fill out all the details and pretend I'm sending this off to evidence. And then the last thing I got to keep today, which is probably my favorite thing, are these fingerprints. Hopefully you can see that. By the way, no, they're not my own fingerprints. They were already there on like the tile when we had to come in to the lab. Everything was like set up. We had like lab coats on and gloves and like a mask. So we learned how to like dust the fingerprints, then how to stick it to the acetate. And then you have to write all of the like crime evidence details on it. We also have to sign it. So basically no one's like tampered with the fingerprints. It's also a great excuse to practice my signature because I I swear my signature changes every single time I sign something. Considering this is the first time I've ever done fingerprints like swabbing, the module leader who was running our session today said that it was near perfect. Obviously there's you know still some things to improve like I have a few air bubbles unfortunately under there and I think I dusted too heavily but she was like if you hadn't done that it's imperfect. And she says it takes years upon years to perfect. I feel so proud of this. I don't know where to put them because this is gonna look so weird if say my like student landlord comes in and like does like a room inspection. They're gonna see these evidence bags and think that I've actually stolen from the police. So I don't know where to put these. I might have to frame it. If you like, this is the first time I've ever done evidence recovery. I've also realized I'm really low down in the camera. Wow. So I spent the entire Tuesday editing my Freshers Week vlog, then because I spent the entire day staring at a screen, I might have treated myself to a Mackey's. Hey guys, so it's currently half ten. I'm really sorry I haven't filmed much of today, but it's literally just me editing my Freshers Week vlog, so it hasn't really been interesting. Actually tomorrow I am catching a very early train back to Birmingham through London for a dentist appointment because I'm actually getting a tooth extracted at the back which has been kind of causing a lot of havoc. I probably mentioned it actually in a few vlogs over the last few months. Basically I'm running on three hours sleep because one of my back molars has decided just to hate me and play up. Not gonna lie, I am in agony. <laughs> like this is literally the worst day this could happen. But yeah, because my dentist is back in Birmingham, I do need to go get that train. Yeah, it isn't ideal. I was hoping to actually be in some of my classes this week but it's just how the appointment has fallen. They might even be putting me to sleep actually. I think I've got to have a cannula, which I'm not looking forward to, not gonna lie, because if you know me, you know I have a massive, massive, massive fear of blood and needles. So let's just say cannula is not my best friend. Since the train is at 8.20, the plan is to get up at like 6.30, which I know, I'll have a early start.
As I had to wait 40 minutes until my train appeared on the boards, I got myself a Burger King, then my train got called, or at least I thought I did, and disaster struck. So here's me getting really emotional about it on the train back to Birmingham. So I didn't film anything until actually after my sedation because I wanted to spend the time resting and preparing myself for the tooth surgery. If you're squeamish like me or don't like blood, I really recommend you skip to 1447. Right, so everything you see next is straight after the procedure. So here is me literally just getting in the car after walking out of the dentist. I don't remember filming these clips as I was still coming off the heavy sedation they had me on. I feel like I look really sad in this footage, which is partly because I was feeling sorry for myself because I just had to face my phobia of needles, but I also think I look sad because my mouth generally wasn't working at that point. They put the cannula in my hand to put me out, which they attempted twice actually because of my weak veins, and this made me throw up and faint even before I got sedated. So this is me back at home on the sofa where I stayed for the rest of the day. I was still pretty drowsy and sore so I had a nap, but then an hour later I woke up and my mouth was absolutely filled with blood. My hair and the sofa was also covered in blood from where it had dripped out of my mouth in my sleep. You can see a bit of the blood on my hoodie actually in the bottom right corner. Corner. This obviously isn't meant to happen so we had to go back to the dentist to sort it so here is me trying to stop the blood from coming out of my mouth in the car on the way to the dentist. Oh you can't even see me this is great. What a great start to the vlog. <laughs> Well, great start to you. Oh, this is terrible lighting. Right, hi guys. I decided just to not even bother with makeup today, so I'm so sorry that Hobo Gaia has made an appearance. It's currently Sunday, and it's been about two to three days since my tooth surgery. And the reason why I've only started to vlog now is because I've literally not been able to move my mouth for the last few days. It's been so swollen. This is the first day that I've actually been able to like properly move my mouth without tasting like loads and loads of blood. I'm currently talking to you guys in a service station car park. My mom's just nipped in because we are actually on the way back to Portsmouth. I just realised by doing that, that's messing with the lighting, that is great. We're about an hour, two hours into our trip. I am heading back because I obviously have lectures tomorrow and I've really missed quite a lot from, you know, the surgery but also from the days that I spent recovering. The hole is healing up. Like I said, it's a bit swollen on this side. I feel like a bit like a chipmunk. It's not as bad as it was a few days ago as you'll see in the footage. Um, I'm really sorry by the way if you're like squeamish like I am, you know, it's not the best. There also wasn't anything to Oh great, there's a guy that's peeing right in front of me as I'm filming this because I'm parked up next to a wooded area. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, oh, my mum's back, so we're going to get on the road and I'll update you when we get to Portsmouth. Woo! Hey guys, so I'm officially back in Portsmouth, woo! It's currently 4 o'clock, my mom left about an hour ago. Honestly, it feels really weird to be back. I think because I did a week and a half and then for the last few days I've been back in Birmingham, so then to be back here again, it feels strange. I'm so glad I got that tooth surgery out of the way so I can now remain in Portsmouth for the rest of the year and start to develop my actual routine. I've literally just spent the last hour unpacking everything because I had like a food shop um, and then obviously like my suitcase and stuff that I brought back to Birmingham and I've also just filmed something for a social media job which I'm hoping will be okay considering I'm sure as you've noticed my mouth still doesn't really work I can't still properly eat a lot of things like I don't think I mentioned that actually in the previous clip I still can't eat like normal things like it looks like it's gonna be a diet of yogurts and soup <laughs> still for another few more days the plan for the rest of the evening is to basically edit that social media thing that I just filmed and then do some pre-reading for my forensic investigation module <laughs> So it's a few days later and I've realised I haven't actually finished this vlog. I'm so sorry if my first week of uni classes has felt like it's been all over the place but I guess we're being realistic here, you know, not everything goes to plan. As you can kind of see, since it has been a few days, my mouth is definitely starting to work a bit more. I feel like I still sound like I have a little bit of a lisp just because it's still a little swollen. I still can't like fully use that side of my mouth. <laughs> um, I'm still having to like spool of salt water and like be very careful when I like brush because it is still very much 
much a whole and is healing but I am on the mend I am feeling a lot better than I did a few days ago thank you so much to everyone who has like reached out on Instagram yeah this tooth thing really needed to be sorted and I'm really glad actually that it got sorted this week so then I can enjoy this next year in Portsmouth and not have to worry about any more tooth problems fingers crossed <laughs> thank you so much for watching and also if you've managed to get this far into the video if you have make sure to comment this emoji if you did enjoy this vlog and you are also looking forward to the next whole year of uni vlogs make sure to go smash that like button right now it really helps my channel and if you haven't already make sure to go click that subscribe button as well but other than that i've been gaia this has been the first week of uni classes or <laughs> was meant to be <laughs> uni classes before this happened but yeah i'll see you next week for more uni content bye guys Thank you.